Hi everyone, my name is James and I'm with immfinancial.com. I'm here to speak about the hot topic known as the fintech industry, a topic which is not well understood. To start with, I want to define what the fintech industry is and what it represents. So let's start off with a definition. The fintech industry is a combination of financial technology as a developing financial service sector. Initially, the term was used to describe the technology function to the back end of consumer and trade finance institutions. Now, fintech has expanded to comprise of any high-tech modernization in the financial sector, together with advances in the financial sector, retail, commercial banking, wealth management, as well as Bitcoin. Global investment in fintech has skyrocketed from 930 million back in 2008 to over 12 billion by the beginning of 2015. Europe expanded the most with the highest growth with an increase of 215% to 1.48 billion in 2014 and 24.7 billion in 2016. The traditional model of a business seeking a commercial loan from its local bank is no longer the only game in town. The development of the fintech industry further evolved how companies do business. The rise of the smartphone in the fintech industry has massively changed the behavior of consumers. Thanks to the always online culture we live in today, along with the massive number of apps that feed the smartphone, people can do things online that they never could before, and more, they can do all of this while riding the train. People can now do their online banking, manage their investment portfolio, chat with clients as easily as they could manage their Instagram pictures or send an SMS. It's a huge opportunity for business in the fintech industry, and the day is coming that no company will succeed without the right fintech services in place. The rise of the fintech industry has opened up a world of possibilities. Businesses can offer more services than ever for a fraction of the price of what it would cost before. Entrepreneurs need to view keeping up to date with fintech industry developments as part of their daily life. Being aware of the latest opportunities and developments within the field will only improve your business and help you stay at the forefront of your market. Looking forward, expect fintech disruptors to continue to expand into other areas of financial sectors. There's a lot of interest in areas like marketplace lending, credit underwriting, digital cash, treasury functions, deposits, and bill payments. Perhaps more importantly, there will be much fintech innovation in the coming months in the business-to-business -business space. Expect tech innovations to happen on a regular basis, and as they do, they'll start radically altering business processes and drive down costs. Today, we're already seeing firms exploring how they can use groundbreaking technologies. Everyone needs to recognize that this isn't going away. It's the new normal and over the long term financial institutions are going to have to make some fundamental changes. They'll need to become more agile, manage their business from the inside out instead of outside in and change the way they approach innovation. Here are some of the companies to watch in the fintech industry. Funding Circle, eToro, iZettle, Karma, Currency Cloud, World Remit, TransferWise, Nutmeg, Zippa, and immfinancial.com. I sincerely hope this video and the article gave some useful insight. Comments are always welcome. 
and use for creating future videos. So let us know what you think. And thanks for visiting.